I think this is a little bit of an experiment for me. I've never done anything like this before, and I don't know how it's going to go, but um, I figured I'd give it a shot. So, um, why are we here? Well, I'm just going to show you what I go through what, if I decide to search uh, on eBay. I, I don't spend a lot of time on eBay because there's just too much bullshit here. There's just too many too many pieces of crap like this being sold, you know, um, I, I have no need to, these things that these are a joke. Uh, we call them razor shaped objects. Uh, basically what I did was a simple straight search up here, straight razor, right? No brainer. What do I got? 13,000 plus results. So that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to weed through that, right? No, actually, I don't. Uh, the best match thing that's over here that does nothing for me. Uh, you want to see what's going to end in the next couple of minutes. Uh, you look and you see um, uh, that's a shave head. It's not even a straight razor. Over here, we have like some sort of freaking ninja sword or some bullshit. Looks actually more like a pirate's cutlass. Real straight razors, right? And you see the auction's running at 132.50. It's got 16 minutes left. It's coming from Null. I don't know where Null is. Uh, must be from the country of none and it is populated by nobody. So let me open up this thing and I see I got two fills here. Uh, I see a lot of rust on this one. Um, okay. There are things I'll put up with. Uh, this isn't one of them. Too much rust on the blade. Uh, a lot of it down here at the bevel line. If you're looking at my little arrow there. Not making me happy. Um, Will it hone out? Yeah, it might, but like, why do I want to deal with that? Under the corrosion up here, there's some good spine wear. So this isn't like a uh, museum piece. Gold wash looks okay, but cleaning it up, you're going to lose it. Uh, this one is uh, mysteriously darker. It's a 14. Got some odd scratch marks here. That's very unusual. They shouldn't be there. Uh, something is up with that. It looks like somebody maybe tried to clean it up. Uh, let's see, is there a better photo? Yeah, that kind of looks like ass, huh? Yeah, a little light on the subject. Let me see if we everything. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. I'm out. I'm out. I'm so out. I, I don't care if this was selling for $50. I don't want it. Okay? Uh, let somebody else buy that. They can spend the rest of their life restoring it. I'll look at one more over here. Uh, I normally don't search here like this. I'll show you what I do in a sec. All right. Decent looking blade. Some plain scales. Little dirt up in the pivot area you can see here it's not looking pretty but it's easy enough to fix up I see a little rust under there blade looks to be a 5 age older but not too bad a lot of life left down here at the heel so there won't be any honing issues three pin nice touch not really sure what this angle is supposed to be showing me but uh, and it's a very nice out of focus photo and that's a um, specialty of eBay it's a it's a filter that uh, sellers use to make sure you can't really see what they're selling you and then when you complain because it came broken they say well you should have looked at the photos one of my favorite things these days that people are pulling is the uh, photos are the best description and they write like a sentence use razor yeah I, I think sometimes people really suck and in eBay there's no accountability that's one of the reasons I don't like going there so I want to look at something that I'm interested in Sheffield's right uh, ending soon as I'm looking at I see some stuff here I'm, I'm kind of usually more interested in newly listed. It's up here. Here's a nice, a Wilder, 100 bucks, 7 eighths, my size. Let's take a look, right? Open up the photos. Scales look okay. Blade looks really clean, really clean. Doesn't look like it's been polished, but I want to see another angle on it. Um, yeah, I, I see a little corrosion up in here, and maybe the blade is just overexposed, and that's why it looks so super clean. Uh, there's a better shot. Yeah, there's some corrosion in here, so now I feel better because I'd rather see corrosion than like some like lunatic got at it with a buffing wheel. I don't know the maker, but the blade looks good, and uh, I would consider this. I would do a little research on the name, Wilder. 7 8 blade, clean, nice scales, 100 bucks, maybe more than I want to spend, but Wade and Butcher. Love Wade and Butchers. It's the old uh, I'll shave well if you lather well blade. They're always honed up really far. You can see how close now the bevel is to the uh, engraving. Um, there probably was another eighth of an inch on this at one time. 
maybe a little bit more, but the rest up here is really off-putting. This will clean up well. You'll lose a part of the etching, uh, but it'll shave great. But what are we talking about here? Guy wants $179. That blade's worth like literally no more than $25, $30. Anybody spending more than that on that is either just blind, clueless. This is interesting. There's two posts in a row. Wade and Butcher and George, whatever, here at Wilson Home, and uh, prices are the same. I find that interesting. I'm going to look just because it's curious. Sale U Sales USA, uh, that's not really making me warm and fuzzy. Uh, but then again, do you want to buy, like, you know, a razor from somebody with the name Bloodthirsty Cutthroat? I, I, I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at the photos. A little rust up here that'll clean up. Might lose some of the etching, might not. Might be able to just kind of like work around that. Interesting blade. I would be surprised if this was more than a 5 eighths. Um, it's marked Sheffield, not Sheffield, England. So it's pre-1890. The back is okay. Yeah, you know, this will clean up really nice. But honestly, 105? Dude, stop trying to get like rich on my back. All right, that's not a hundred and five dollar raise. I know Wade and Butchers bring money, whatever. Um, these are nice. I see, I don't like really to bid on stuff, but this is an interesting auction at nine ten bucks. Um, I might put a twelve dollar bid on that and see if it comes through. If I like needed some raises to bang around with, uh, what I really like to do, I, I like to hit the buy it now, I don't like to bid. I hate bidding. I hate waiting around for auctions to end. I can't do it, really. It's not a, that I hate it. I just, I don't have the time for that crap. So if I see something and I want it, I want to buy it. Here's a Wade, reasonable price, 66 and change. The blade, however, looks like ass. Yeah, pass on that. I, I don't know what's going on there. It looks like it's got cancer. Um, good luck getting 65 bucks on that, bro. Uh, what else we got here? Right, I'm not doing well with my basic search. Everything seems to be either priced like ridiculously high for what it is, or I'm not finding anything groovy. Wade Razor. Right, Wade and Butcher is a quick search, newly listed. I'm still in buy it now. Um, no, here's a nice blade. Celebrated, extra hollow. Sounds good. Photograph. Interesting blade. The uh, edge is in a good place. In other words, the edge hasn't been honed up too far. It's a narrow blade, but, you know, uh, it's got these weird, it has like a grain look to it, supposedly, I think it was supposed to emulate, uh, what do you call it, ivory. Uh, it really doesn't, not to me, but, um, yeah, I, I think uh, it's a pretty nice looking blade for 59 He's got best offer. I would probably throw 45 at that if I was looking for a blade that size and <clears throat> see how that goes. Um, I probably should have looked the steel over a little more closely, but I don't want this to be an hour-long video. Here's a nice big uh, wade, it looks like. Interesting uh, engraving, but I, the photograph sucks for some reason. I don't know why people do stuff like that. I, I would really like to see all the engraving. I, I don't think there's a single shot in here where the engraving is clear. And I guess all the pitting up in here kind of wiped it out, and it's just overexposed, so you don't really, like, see too much of it. And that's, like, a trick on eBay is to, like, blow everything out or shoot everything head-on with flash, and everything's hidden in the... Ex yeah, okay, so here you go. Look at that. This is going to shave great. Uh, wedge profile. All right, so uh, honing this will be uh, predominantly on tape for most of us. But the bevel looks fairly clean. There's some corrosion down there, but I think that will hone out, so... What are we looking at here, price-wise? At 75 bucks, that's a little more than I'd want to spend. It had a nice engraving, though. Look at that. You know, I just got eaten up by pitting. You know, and that's just one of those things. Got ravaged by time. 75 is probably what this is going to go for. 7 8 razor, because I, I like that size. Uh, Wild is here again. Uh, scrolling down. This is nice looking. Very nice looking. French frame back, real frame back. Steel looks good. Will probably polish up just fine. Scales are neat. Looks to be in really good shape. 
Yeah, this is a very interesting razor. It has some corrosion. Looks like it's been cleaned up already once. Nothing on the steel tipping me off that there's underlying issues that are going to be catastrophic. 75 bucks. I, I think maybe that could be a fair price for this. I would probably want to spend a little bit less, but, you know, things are what they are. You know, you can't always get what you want when you're looking for it. Let's see if I take the buy it now off. All right. Custom rigor razor. They, they've been around. I, I don't have anything to say about them because I don't know. Um, the open bidding on that. So let's see ending soon. As, maybe you get a deal. Something ending. And I have 22 minutes left on this one. Um, interesting green scales. Let's take a look, folks. I have never heard of this brand. Conti Verde. Hmm. Solingen. Kind of looks like one of those souvenir blades if you want to know the truth. But what do I know? I'm not a historian. I'm, I'm just a shaver. Oh. I see a problem. You see it? Right there. Not only is there a divot, uh, a chip, that appears to be a line emanating from it in a place that tells me that this line is probably a crack. I could be totally wrong, okay? It just, that chip is there and that line just, I, I don't see any other lines like it anywhere. A little one over there, maybe, but it's not connected to anything. I don't know. And there's like no time left on this auction, so I definitely would not throw money at it. And be honest, I think I kind of see the outline of a crack in the blade here. Maybe I'm nuts, but there's there's the chip. It's a little closer, but the photograph isn't really showing what I want to see. And to be fair, that's a really hard thing to show. All right. But it's not a hard thing to really see because I'm seeing it. here it is again. Okay, I, I'm, I'm feeling this is from the back side, and I kind do you see the line there where it gets dark and then light right above that chip? At that to me, I don't know, that's that's sketchy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see a line in the steel right here. Yeah, I, I'm 75% sure that that blade's got a crack in it. You know, if it didn't have it, you know, uh, what, what are they asking for this? That's 60 bucks. Okay, so if there was no crack, I would probably think, if I needed a blade, that I could clean this up really, really well and have a really nice shave. It would cost me 60 bucks. Now, 20 bucks to ship. It's coming from Uruguay. All right, if I lived in Uruguay, the shipping would be less and that would be fine, but I wouldn't pay 20 bucks on top of seven, uh, 60 to ship this, I don't think. It's not that special and that's just how I feel about it but there's a crack so like point is moot Kamasaurus interesting let's, let's look at the emote shall we blow up the emote okay this amount of wear on the emote is totally tolerable all right it's not bad at all this area in here is the hollow the blade does got like rust on it uh, what's the price on this thing? 90 bucks? Yeah, I don't think so. Now with this kind of corrosion in all kinds of places, and like me, I don't need a commissary that badly. Um, it, the, the cladding is it's just kind of an ugly blade, really. Um, the price isn't really too bad, but not really my thing. Not really my thing at all. Oh, uh, here's a nice weight. The price on this is 140 I think it's a little high. I'm looking at this like a 7.8, right? It says medium size hollow ground. This is more wedge than hollow. That's typical for old weights. Uh, it's in good condition, though. Good condition weights command a higher dollar. It's just the way it is. People will spend on them. So if you want to get into that, you either buy one that's beat up and cleaned it up or just pay more for something that's in condition like this. I think this has already been cleaned up once. I mean, I suppose it could be untouched, but it just kind of has that look like someone did a light restoration on it. Uh, I like it. The four hours, this grease ends. Let me take a look at it. 11 16 that's not my size. The photograph is terrible. I have a thing. If you don't take good pictures, I don't buy your stuff because I don't like surprises. All right, I need clear photos. I'm, I'm not one to try and like figure I might get a deal. This thing is a little hurting. 1350. Yeah, well, it's worth 1350. American Eagle handle on a grease. That's unusual. Very nice looking. Uh, oh, it's got that nice tang. Let's see. If, yeah, see, it's got that like 
double cut. Very, very interesting. Greaves and Sons, I don't see sheath work, so I think that's a little old. The blade dimension isn't all that great for me, but you know, not every razor is going to be big and fat. I, I just like wider razors. This would shave like a dream though. It's $49.99, two bids, it'll probably go a bunch higher. It's got four days on it. I would bookmark it and see what's going on. Oh, 82 bucks, Greaves. Early 1820s, it's nice. No, it's not that early, I don't think, and it's got some corrosion down by the heel. So the price is tolerable, but I don't like this here, all right? And stabilizer is down into the edge. Nah, sorry. I'm going to have to cut this right there. I'm going to lose probably a sixteenth of an inch uh, on the edge, and I'm going to have like something under five-eighths, and I, I'm not terribly happy about that. Is a restored grease for fifteen sixteenths. That's like almost four hundred dollars. I'm not here to pimp uh, razor restorers work. I got nothing against them. I'm just saying it's not what I'm here. I'm here just talking about like you know what I go through when I'm buying a razor. People ask me like what am I looking for, and they t they talk about you know making bad purchases. And all right, so here you go, 150 bucks. Look at this blade right there. That this right out of the gate, no freaking way is this 150 dollars. Sorry. All right. I have no idea who that seller is, but they got a lot of sales and 100% positive feedback. I'm guessing they just don't know straight razors, which is fine. You know, I don't hold ridiculous shit against people like that, but this is trash, okay? Just complete trash. You're going to lose so much off the blade by the time you get it cleaned up. Uh, you know, and for the price, no. No old stock commissary. Okay, here we go. Uh, a lot of this stuff comes out of Japan. This guy's got a commissary. Um, let me take a look at it. Yeah, yeah, that's a really, really, yeah, this is actually no old stock for real. For real. Not redressed up. There's so much of this stuff coming out of Japan that's not really no old stock. It's just reworked. And if you don't know what you're looking at, you wind up paying too much. Or just buying something that, you know, isn't really what you think it is. Which, that pisses me off even more. Alright? So, yeah, that's 200 bucks. But, you know, is it worth it to you? Alright? Here you go. New Zuma, right? Uh, these things are usually uh, Yasuki steel. This isn't bad. 79 bucks. Uh, I want a better image of... Yeah, I don't really... I'm not getting a great image... All right, this right here, right now, this is too blown out for me to really tell, but it kind of looks like it actually is new old stock, which is interesting. Once you get them home, they they take a, they keep an edge for a really long time. It's a Iwasaki um, carbon steel, not Tamagahane. Uh, there's a lot of forgeries out there. I I don't know. I don't know the seller. I don't know that packaging. I would have to research the mark before I started spending $700 on a vintage uh, commissary uh, from Iwasaki. Uh, that cut looks right in here. I see a little wear on there, which is correct. That looks straight. It's possible it's real. And sometimes people sell stuff they think is real and, you know, they believe it's real because they were told it's real and it turns out it's not. They don't know. So, you know, I don't pass judgment here. I'm just saying. You got to be careful. I've seen, you know, fake Tamagahane and people, things called Tamagahane when they aren't. This is interesting. Uh, I don't know that I would choose that as my lead photo, but let's see the back. Yeah. Okay. So, so you see this? No joke, that, that's that's new old stock, look at that. that. That's like a perfect line, yeah. That's absolutely new old stock. Whether or not the raise is any good, I don't know. All this stuff, new old stock, that's um, not in uh, boxes or anything. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, man. Like, look at this blade here. This is being sold as new old stock. I see Honeware on the front, let's see. Oh, the box and the wrapper looks new. 
Uh, uh, well, I see homeware on the, on the back too, but that could be factory bubble. It's very possible. Um, it's 99 bucks. It's not bad. Oh, this is the level of scrutiny I give stuff. Um, I'm not showing you everything. I'm not going through absolutely everything that I'm looking for. So again, I'm in newly listed. I'm in buy it now. Um, this is 350 for a Monster Blade Dorco. Uh, it's stainless though, and I'm not into stainless blades. Is there anything here that's really, really making me like jazzed? You know, I, I see stuff and I'm like, what is that, a steak knife? Uh, Simmart. I don't know, maybe that was made by Dorco? Well, if you look at the profile of the blade, like, you know something's wrong, okay? Because that looks like a sheep's foot blade out of my uh, Swiss Army knife. I'm, I'm just going to get out of here. That, that was ridiculous. Looks like a later model Dorco, but that's fine. They shave nice. This is a 6.8, okay? It's 170. Shipping is 20. So you're looking at 190. But this is new old stock, man. And, and are there more photos? Yeah, let's look at the back. It's a 114. There's some staining on the carbon, and the scales aren't pristine, but I don't think I really see any honeware up here worth talking about. I, I would believe that this is actually new old stock or close to it. I'm going to take another look at the front. Yeah, the honeware is minimal. This is a nice deal. I would do some research on this. Here's something interesting. The price is off-putting. $400. Nice looking blade. Very similar to the other one. Different type of gold wash. 400 bucks. I don't think so. $800 razor. No, sorry. Uh, La Medoso. Yeah, these actually were made by Dorco and these are kind of cool because they slip right into that plastic sleeve. It's kind of like a toothbrush holder. Uh, this one has had the uh, snot honed out of it. But uh, I might buy it anyway for, the, anyway for the scales in the holder and then try and find a blade to drop in. Uh, they're pretty cool. And you know, another $120, $14 shipping, India. Nice looking uh, Darko. And here's a Whacker. No, it's not a Whacker. It's a Medusa by Darko, 14 And big blade, 300 bucks. You're gonna expect to, You can expect to pretty much spend that on big blades, you know, number 14s. Another thing you can do, and I'll close out with this, Stray Razor, go to shipping and lowest first. I go to collectibles. Go vanity, perfume, and shaving. Go shaving. Stray Razors. Go down here to use. What, what's the cheapest I can get a straight razor for? One that I would shave with. Um, you're going to find all these dorms and this other crap. It's got a chip. How bad is that chip? Pretty bad. Forget it. Pakistan. No good. Here's a Bengal. It's got a bad chip down at the heel, but it's nine bucks free. Okay, so do I want to learn how to hone? This is something to learn how to hone on. Nine bucks. You know, no big deal. Do I want to make a shorty? Here's a blade I can make a shorty out of. Chaz Adams, Rochester, Blue Steel, it's chip 1040, but this could be dressed down and make a decent blade out of it, and that's not too bad. You know, it'll be a 5 8 but, you know, you, you, you want something to practice honing on. Yes, yes, a gold dollar is going to be much less money, but when you're done, you still have a Chinese paint stirrer. You buy something here like this, man, maybe you get a piece of history. I don't know. Um, A lot of these had chip toes. Easy to trim back. Um, I'd rather trim a toe than start cutting off stabilizers, to be honest. I, I don't know what's going on there. That was trimmed already once. I'm going to pass by it. Uh, a lot of this is nonsense. Here you go. Germania Color Reworks. I actually know these razors. I've had a bunch of them. $8, $3, $0.50 shipping. There's a little bit of black spit on there, but this will hone. Go for like 8 9 10 11 50 you know, you got a blade, and you can practice honing on it. Yeah, yeah, you can buy two gold dollars for that, and then spend 400 hours grinding steel off of it so you can get a decent bevel angle and what have you. Um, 
Anyway, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just talking about what I would like to do. Um, and this is kind of like what I go through when I'm shopping for cheap things. When I just want to have a bunch of blades around. I'm moving four or five of my test razors out. And um, I'm going to get a bunch more to bring in. Ah, this is a shame. That's a shame. That's I'm not, uh, that's going to make me cry. I'm not going to look. See if I can find something. There you go. <laughs> Rare late 1700s, early 1800s. Signed, Japanese cutthroat razor. $241. This is ridiculous, okay? It's supposed to look like some old monk's... Uh, razors like this was made three weeks ago and then thrown out in a rice field a joke you don't need to uh, jump into the first thing you see you don't need to fall for the best deal go slow you see something ask questions if it sells before you got the question answered you didn't lose okay you'll get an answer you'll gain knowledge and then you'll be able to make the correct purchase at the right time from the right person. Sugar cane machete straight razor pre owned twelve dollars. This is interesting. This is very interesting. That's a really nice looking blade. Okay, the scales show a little delamination up here, but they don't look too bad. And this looks to be like a five eighths or maybe a 916 and it's probably a little wedgy. I've seen a little corrosion here, but these things have enough meat on them where you can probably hone that out. Yeah, you know, I might gamble on that. 12 bucks, best offer, throw 10 at him, 375 shipping. He's not a razor guy, he doesn't know what he's looking at. But I think this looks okay. Yeah, I would buy this. If I was looking for a blade this size to practice honing with, wedgy, yeah, I would go for this. That's just a little bit of what I go through when I'm uh, shopping for razors. All right, so take what you can, take what you can use, forget the rest, and uh, shop wise, shop smart, uh, think twice, buy once. Always remember, it's about having fun. Don't stress the small stuff and don't worry about losing out on a deal. There's another deal right around the corner. Take care, talk to you soon.